with Nora. I'm in Monaco and I have a really fun adventure planned for us today. As you can see behind me, there's a really busy beach and I'm gonna be diving with my metal detector to hopefully find some lost treasure. So let's grab our gear, jump into the water, and see what we can find. That was an exhausting dive. I tried so many different locations. I tried this side of the beach. I tried that side of the beach. All right guys, I'm gonna keep this very short because as you see, we had a very disappointing haul today. I found a pair of goggles, a strap with a little ratchet, removed some garbage out of the water. I found a big lead weight. I don't know what this was used for, but it's definitely lead because it's super heavy. A rusty screw, a rusty nail, couple of pull tabs, an aluminum piece, and the best finds of the day. I'm embarrassed to even show you guys this. I found two 50 euro cent coins. I actually found three, but I ended up losing one because I had a pair of kids goggles and the kid actually saw them in my jar and he told me they were his. So I gave them back to him and I think that's when my first coin fell out. Next I have two 10 cent pieces and one mystery piece. This one's very worn down. I can't see what it says, but let me try to get a close-up shot for you guys. This kind of looks like a man's profile. I know it's very hard to see, but I'm pretty sure that's what that is. And on the other side, I can't really make out that writing, but it does say something. If anyone knows what kind of coin this is, please let me know. So we're gonna make a little bit of a different video for you guys. Maybe a little vlog, maybe I can answer some questions. I don't really know where this video is going, but we'll take you along for our journey. This is the new fashion, guys. I noticed everyone here wearing their masks like this. So I'm, uh, I'm taking a part of the trend. I could 
answer another question you guys have asked me. Nora, have you ever considered using a Nemo? So I have considered it, but the only problem with the Nemo is there's a depth restriction. You could only go up to 10 or 15 feet, I believe. But I know they're coming out with a new one that goes even deeper, so maybe I will try it soon. But for the moment, I like having the scuba tank because I could dive under waterfalls, I could dive in deeper waters, and I don't have that depth restriction. Another question from Floyd Reap. Reeby? Reap? You were wondering how many wishes I canceled out by taking the coins. <laughs> I don't think any wishes get canceled because technically you're only supposed to throw coins into wishing well fountains, not into natural springs or waterfalls. I think that actually pollutes the water and it could probably harm the fish and things like that. So removing any types of metals that don't belong there is probably a good idea. All right, we just withdrew some euros. Yes. And we're ready to go shopping. <laughs> Which brings up this next question. How do you fund your trips? A lot of you ask this. As many of you know, I used to work in a, a restaurant, bartending, waitressing, and I no longer do that. I'm doing YouTube videos full time, making money from the merch sales, from the commercials. Oh, and I've been getting sponsorships. So that's how I've been making my money and I don't have another job. Cartier diamond. All right, Peter B would like to know, did you get Patty, SSI, or Naui? So I got Patty certified. It was much easier than I thought it was gonna be. I was really worried about taking my goggles off underwater, replacing them and clearing them, but it actually turned out to be not bad, so. like to know do you have a patreon account I don't have a patreon account but you guys could always support me by buying the merch there's even a donate button at the top of my website or just by watching my videos liking commenting and that always helps I'm gonna use the coin I found at the beach to make a wish what are you wishing for? I can't tell you. Ah, oh, it's not gonna become true if you tell me. Okay, make a wish. Okay, I'm gonna make a wish now. Okay, make a wish. It's like a mini jungle in here. Let's see if I have any other questions to answer. How long can you hold your breath and what is the deepest dive? So my breath holds have actually become pretty bad because I've been scuba diving a lot lately so I haven't been practicing holding my breath. But the deepest dive, I would say free dive, is about 30 feet deep and the longest breath hold is no more than a minute, probably less even, but around one minute, 30 feet deep is the deepest and longest I've held my breath. <laughs> my god, look at these ducks! Hello ducks! Comment down below if you think I should dive here. All right, another question from Mark George. How do you find all the places you go to and would you please start telling us where you are and maybe we could visit them too? So I find all the places I visit through internet searches, through Google, just wherever I am in the area, I search swimming areas near me, the best swimming areas, things like that. And sometimes you guys recommend some spots to me, but the reason I don't disclose the locations is because I wanna keep those places clean. And if lots and lots of people see the video and decide to go there, it could get a little out of control. So if I could find it on the internet, so can you guys. Ronald Piero, are you really six feet tall? 
Well, I'm almost six feet tall. I'm about 5'10", 5'11", but I just like to say I'm six foot tall. Scorpion with a K, 34, wants to know, do you restore old fishing lures? So I don't restore them, but I save all the good ones and I'm actually going to Bulgaria and I'll be giving them all to my dad, so he's very happy about that. He's gonna have a whole new collection of fishing lures. Look at these monstera plants, oh my god, these are beautiful. Shout out to Lydia if you're watching this, I know you love these. Huge. Video edit would like to know, have you found enough valuables to pay for your gear? I actually probably have found enough valuables to pay for my gear, but I don't sell anything I find, so there's no real way to know that for sure. I like this one. Oh my god, I like this one. This, this is oh my men. god, that is so nice. Oh, that is not this for men. That's the one I want. ES, what type of metal detector are you using? So I use the Excalibur 2. It's the only metal detector I've ever owned. Well, besides like a small handheld one. But that's the only one I've ever owned. It's the only one I know how to use. And I really love it. And I found some very cool things with it so far. <laughs> Waiting in line for the photo booth. John Wayne. Your dog is super cute. What breed is it? Cairo is a giant schnauzer puppy. Well, he's not really a puppy anymore. He's getting so big. And his dad is 95 pounds. His mom is 70 pounds. So he's definitely going to be a big boy. I really miss him right now. He's actually still in Arizona at a friend's house. And I wish I could have him here with me. But I couldn't travel with him, unfortunately. <laughs> Look at this dog. A Frenchie. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna answer one last question and that's from Robin W. What is the significance of the red string bracelet you wear? So the red string bracelet I wear is supposed to bring good luck and it's supposed to protect you from the evil eyes, supposedly. I just really like the way it looks too, with my watch. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying this walk around Monaco. You've probably seen some things you've never seen before. I know I haven't seen any of this. It's pretty cool. I have nuts because my mom's making me walk around more and I'm starving to death. <laughs> you want a raisin? You want a raisin? Raisin? No? Alright. Do you want a raisin? Guys, I don't know where my mom is taking me. <laughs> Never seen anything like this. Where where are we? Why are we here? Guys, this is so weird. Yeah. I don't know how my mom found this. No way. It's locked. Locked. Whoa. Ooh, a friend. Do you want a raisin? Oh, he wants a raisin. Oh, you like raisins. Oh, you don't like the raisin. Do you want a nut? Here, have a walnut. Oh, you like that. 
Oh, we got some more friends coming in, huh? All right, so we finally sat down, finally. It was an exhausting day. Ordered some calamari, a little champagne. Cheers. Cheers to adventure. <laughs> All right, let's start with the calamari and then we'll show you what we got for dinner. Can't wait to eat. We got tartare. I got mine seared. My mom got hers <laughs> raw, real tartare style. Yeah. Comes with fries, a little salad. I think this is ketchup and mustard drops. And it almost looks like a burger patty, but it's minced meat and it's delicious. Mm, yummy. This is a little lemon. Lemon juicer. You squeeze it and you pour the lemon juice on top like that. All right guys, we're done with dinner. We're gonna go to the grocery store, get some waters for the night and call it a day. Whoa. I hope you've enjoyed this type of video. Let me know if you want me to do more like this kind of vlog styles when I am not able to dive. Uh, let me know down in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Buy the merch if you want to support the channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye. Look at this thing, guys. We're window shopping today. <laughs>